Welcome back to another episode of Reality. We are on episode 14 and we've got a lot to get through. Dated and related stars Nina and Diana will be in the studio spilling all the tea about everything that's been going on in their lives since they've left the show and everything that happened while they were on the show, the relationships, love life, yada, yada, yada. Now, look, I also want to say, before I get into showbiz news, as I usually do, I want to say I am okay. Um, I posted an Instagram picture on my story the other day of me in hospital. A lot of people were really worried, saying, oh my gosh, Will, what's going on? I can tell you what's happened. Number one, I'm alive. That's the most important thing. I mean, that's progress. <laughs> but um, I underwent a, a procedure that I usually do every single year. But unfortunately, this procedure went a little bit wrong, um, which meant that I had to stay in hospital for a little bit longer. But I am fine. I can confirm that I was at Soho House last night. And that should tell you that I am OK. <laughs> cool. Let's get into it. So Adam Levine, I'm quite shocked by this story, actually. Adam Levine from Maroon 5 has been accused of cheating on his wife of 10 years with an Instagram model. Now, I was having a conversation with producer James earlier. What is an Instagram model? That's what all the newspapers are saying. I assume she's just an influencer. Anyways, um, her name is Sumner Stroh. And she's made a TikTok video addressing the allegations, basically saying that, you know, they were having an affair for a year. A year! Here's what she said. Essentially... I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. We're in five is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell at this point. <laughs> I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised i was completely manipulated now that is crazy and can i just say can we send love to adam levine's wife who i understand is currently pregnant this must be a lot for her to go through right now just too too much whether these allegations are true or not but look adam has denied these allegations and he's basically said in a statement that he's crossed the line and not cheated Hmm. So you've, you've, you've not cheated and you've not had the affair, but you've crossed the line. Which one is it? Anyways, he put out a statement on his Instagram story and he said, a lot is being said about me right now and I want to clear the air. I used poor judgment speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. Huh? I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. What does this mean? Look, this has sparked up a whole debate on social media about what cheating actually is because he's essentially said that he's not cheated. He's not had the affair, but at times he was inappropriate, as he said in his own words, and he crossed the line. Look, anyways, my brain is going bonkers right now. Because to me, if you've been flirting, then you've cheated. <laughs> That's my opinion. If you've been flirting, if you've been, you know, giving someone else the impression that you might be a little bit interested, that alone, in my opinion, is cheating. Because why are you doing that when you've got a beautiful partner at home? If you love your partner, you would not be turning your head like someone who's in Love Island. You wouldn't need to do that. Do you know what I mean? But look, a few of you have been sending in your messages. Um, Jeremy says, Will... Flirting isn't cheating because it's not like anything sexual happened. But Jeremy, Jeremy, it's the intention. It's the leading someone else on. I just think that you don't need to do that when you've got a good partner at home, when you're in love, it's unnecessary. And something, it's just, it's, it's not adding up. It's not adding up. Evie says, Will, flirting is 100% cheating. Thank you. <laughs> why are your eyes, why are your eyes wandering? Exactly, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. But let me know what you think. Use that hashtag, reality with Will.
Is flirting cheating? Let me know what you think. This next story is about Kanye West. He is reportedly dating model Candice Swanepoel. Now, Kanye West's dating life is just so crazy, in my opinion, because he was dating Julia Fox about a couple of months ago. Then they split up and she came out and said it was all for publicity. What is going on? I personally think that Kanye is still heartbroken from Kim. Um, I think he hasn't gotten over Kim Kardashian yet. Remember the way he was behaving when Pete Davidson was with Kim? Behaving like a crazy ex, a bonkers ex. I just And it just makes me think, how long after a divorce should someone realistically be dating? How long should it take for someone to be like, you know what? I'm now going to start seeing other people because I just think it's too soon. He split up with, well, you know, him and Kim parted ways and straight away with Julia Fox and your fake relationship. Well, she benefited more than he did. Um, am I lying? <laughs> am I lying? But look, we have got a few voice notes. Uh, we've got one in from Thomasina. Um, Kanye West is just very active right now. You know, he has the behaviour of a jilted ex, I'm sorry to say. Seriously, to date somebody, I would say got to be two years you you need that time to heal to process to work on your strengths your weaknesses you need the time to heal thank you thomasina i just feel like kanye lives life at like 100 miles per hour so like how do you even have time to go through heartbreak because by the way heartbreak is something that i don't want to experience again <laughs> and if I'm going to experience it once every five years, it, it's a lot to deal with. So imagine dealing with heartbreak, uh, preparing for your new album, your touring, whatever, beefing all of these brands. Like he just needs to stay still. I think Kim Kardashian played a very important part in his life. You know, they have children together. They lived life together for a very long time, married. But it is what it is. Kanye, you need to heal. I've got another voice note in now from Jordan. Date as soon as you feel comfortable with dating. I think ultimately some people are serial daters and some people like relationships. So if it means dating to find your next relationship, then do what's best for you. That's what I say. Exactly. Some people are serial daters. Kanye West is a serial dater when he needs to focus on making new music. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let me know what you think on that hashtag. That is reality with Will. Now it's time to tell you what I have been watching on TV. The Kardashians, it's back on Disney Plus and Hulu for season two. The premiere episode was amazing. That was released in the UK actually on Thursday. And we saw Khloe Kardashian giving birth by surrogate. This is her second child. And it, it was a revealing scene. You know, it was proper emotional. Obviously Kim Kardashian was there. Um, but Tristan Thompson, who obviously cheated on her several times, wasn't in the room for the delivery, which I find interesting. She said that, you know, we're only gonna have Kim in there, but Tristan came in after. Now, when he came in after, I did say to myself, why are you even here? So you know, right, that shortly before she gave birth, the whole world found out that Tristan had cheated on her again. Like, I don't think she should be allowing this man anywhere near that hospital, anywhere near that child. I think it's time for him to just Sit away somewhere and think about his behavior. <laughs> because the man is a serial cheater. <laughs> but look, make sure you go and watch that on Disney Plus and Hulu or wherever else you watch the Kardashians or TikTok, whatever. But look, there are two girls who everyone online right now is saying are the UK's Kardashians. They are on Dated and Related. Nina and Diana are going to be in this studio in a bit to spill all the tea. Hey guys, it's Will with you and welcome to my brand new show, Reality with Will and Jovi. You can find us on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram. Please give us a follow. We're going to have a lot of fun on the show, actually. So the Instagram handle is Reality with Will. On YouTube, you can find us and just search Reality with Will or Reality with Will and Jovi. And on TikTok, just search at Will underscore N-J-O. And we are back talking dated and related again. And today I'm joined by Nina and Diana. <laughs> You know what? Since the show's been published, people have been saying you lot are like the UK Kardashians. I know. Have yeah. you been seeing we it? We've heard a lot of mixed stuff. We read that as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you but love it though, don't you? Like, we're not yeah, complaining. we know we're the UK Kardashians. We heard that too. <laughs> They're good-looking girls, so, yeah, so you are. Complaining. It's what it is. Own it. Own it. They so, are. They are. Yeah, they, you yeah. are. They are everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're so in sync. You just looked at you like. Ah. <laughs> I I read. I don't know if this is true, but apparently yeah. you two 
graduated on the same day and you got your master's degree yeah. on the same day. Yeah, so we, we did went all to all our... So this is one thing that we always do. We went to every single class together, we did everything together, yeah. homework, literally everything. Every what? class. We, yeah. Well, actually, this is a funny story because there was one class that I didn't have, like one subject, and then she had it, but I went to every single class with her. <laughs> yeah, just so she could like she didn't want to sit alone in class. Wow. And she, yeah, she was like, and you're also helping me with my yeah, notes, which is so cute. Notes. So what happens when you're not together? Do you get upset? Do you get annoyed? Or do you like do you feel like protective over each other? Like why are you not Very. spending time with me? Or so it was only one time in our life when we had to be separated. That's when she lived in Paris. Yeah. For and how long? I lived a year in Paris. <gasps> yeah. And how I did lived, that feel? And then I lived in London. It was like no. Well, did you FaceTime every day. Like literally, constantly, every single every like, day on minute. FaceTime messages, everything. But like my my phone turned like warm. You know when you're on the phone too much, it heats <laughs> up. Yeah. That's what happened. But what was funny wow. is because we shared a best friend at the time as well. So she would go to like um. So she would fly to. She had to London yeah. to see Diana and then back to Paris to see me. So she yeah. would like go every week, like one She week was working hard. That's a yeah. job. Yeah. yeah. We should have paid her for that. So she had to like go to Paris and London all the time just to be with both of us. Wow. Yeah. Or else I would be like, like, why not visiting I'm me? I'm like, why not visiting me? Yeah. And she wow. was like, relax, I'm coming. I'm like, you better come. Like, yeah. <laughs> so you two were obviously very involved in each other's dating lives. Like, yeah, she would advise very. each other, like, don't date him, date him, don't she, date him. She she's the one that likes you will text sometimes like the guy if I'm texting a guy, sometimes she will take text for she her. will take my phone and text for me. Yeah. And pretend she's <laughs> Why? Because she's like, oh, she's a better texter. She keeps saying like Oh Diana, um, what should I write? I'm like, just give me the phone then. Like, yeah, she's you know really, I mean? she's a really good text texter. I am a good texter. Yeah, I'm yeah. a professional texter. Like a poetry. So, so do you both have the same type as well? No. No, but we, wow. we, we, can, we can like the same features. In we a can guy. like the same features. We can be like, oh my god, that guy is hot. But then when we get to know him, it's like, oh, he's more your type. Yeah. You I'm like, yeah, 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 you take him. I was like, no, you know what, you take yeah. him. She's like, you take him. And then, or we'll be like, is it okay if I take him like that? Yeah. Wow. And have any of you been heartbroken before? Oh, I've met plenty of times. You lost. You must be in sync emotionally then. And one's heartbroken. She breaks hearts. <laughs> you break hearts. And that's yeah. sometimes the best way yeah. to do it. Yeah. You break hearts. Me, I am. Uh, my heart has been broken. Yeah. Plenty of times. Wow. <laughs> and that must be harder. You must get annoyed if like a if if, if a yeah. guy does something wrong to her. Yeah. So one time this guy was like super rude to her, and I took like her phone and oh I wrote gosh. a paragraph to him. So he, he literally called her and started crying. Wow. Yeah. She wants. She she goes savage. Yeah. Wow. So we do back each other up, though. Yeah. In, like, relationships. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and what's your type, usually? Uh, what is our type? You know what? It all depends. Because I have, like... Like, I, I... Like, physically, it's very different. It could be anything. Yeah, physically, like, by looks, it can be literally anything. But I feel like... It's, we, pers like we like a... Personality. We do like personality, but I don't think I like crazy big personality. Mm. I've realized. I like... Ah! That's shade. <laughs> I like, like. Normal. Why don't you like crazy big personalities? It's just too much for me. I like a little bit more calm personality. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I am more calm as well. And do you feel like there were guys with like overly big personalities on this show and on Date and Relate this year? Yeah, because like you get attracted to that, but then you realize maybe that's not. Yeah, we had that on the show. Life. Yeah, we had that on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's just talk about your time in the villa. Lovely villa, by the way, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, amazing. Lovely. I heard it was like yeah. five floors it's, or whatever. It's like, yeah, something worth like a lot. Yeah. Wow. And then there was there, there, there was Chris um, and Jason. Yeah. Who were really, really into you lot. Yeah. But you lot were just not giving them the time of day. I mean, I love the personality. In a romantic way, yeah. you weren't. They're funny. I think as friends. You know, like... <laughs> like yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you know how we say that like, we love someone that makes us laugh? But then you have like doesn't mean that it's like sexual attraction. Yeah, because that sometimes that's a whole make... different ball game. Yeah. That's yeah. a whole different ball game. Like I do like a guy that can make me laugh, but but I think for them it was it just became more like friendly vibes. So you friend zone them, because they were not trying to friend zone you. You yeah. friend zone them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. that's true. Yeah. They were very persistent though. I, I respect that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Be that's also why we were like, okay, we can't vote them out because we've seen them. They really try to like work wing hard. man each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, you know, things progressed in the in, in the villa and you two then start to speak to other people. Yeah. There was obviously Kieran. Yeah. And there was Kaz. Let's speak about Kieran. He's yeah. yeah, he I <laughs> I think Kieran's got a big personality. <laughs> Kieran's got yeah. a big personality, yeah. great yeah. guy. Mm. You know, what attracted you to him in the beginning? I think it was his humor. 
So he was a very funny guy. He keeps you like, I don't know, like, yeah, he, he's funny. I think it's the humor. Yeah, you did have your eyes on him from the start. Yeah, like, and also yeah. like he's a tall, like I like tall, tall boys. So mm, mm, mm. He's tall, he's funny. So yeah, definitely that. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't go well, did it's, it? <laughs> Kira's not that tall. Is he not? <laughs> Oh no! What do you mean, Kira's not? He's like six foot, right? Yeah, but you've had, you've had taller before. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you've been the taller. Not yeah. you height shaming him. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Says her. But okay, so yeah, you you were getting along with Kira, and like yeah. So what happened? It was the whole because I'm very like, if someone entertains someone. Because Alara obviously, like, Alara obviously yeah. entered and made it so clear that you know yeah, that she she'll... wanted him. Exactly. Yeah. I, I feel like in the beginning he kept saying no, you know it's Nina. Yeah, but he no. said he's like, but I'm open to it. But there's like a lot of like parts off camera that we didn't see, like when we were yeah. eating and things like yeah. that. Yeah. What would you say when you were yeah. eating? Yeah. You were like entertaining her. You know what I mean? I just like if I like a guy, I like him to be like not entertaining someone. No, because you felt like she was being disrespected, kind of thing, and then he wasn't. Doing anything about it, he just let it slide. Oh, do you feel so like he should have stood up for you? Yeah, kind yeah, of. That as because, well, because it's like, <laughs> yeah, because I, say if, I would have done that. If you're kind of like in a thing or in a situation with a guy, you don't want him because it's kind of like that he's disrespecting you too because he mm. just he just laughs. He was just laughing at yeah. it and stuff. But were you offended so what, by that when he was actually when he was laughing and stuff? Yeah, but maybe I was like a little bit more sensitive because it was very mm. intense in yeah, there. Yeah, because you so were in reality, there. Yeah. I probably would have. Yeah. Not being bothered that. Oh, that. In reality, you wouldn't be really seeing that. Yeah. yeah. She could have just left the situation. But it's just, or... I don't know. I just found it like, that's not a personality trait that I want in a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like when you two decided that, you know, you were no more, it was really heated, wasn't it? Yeah. But the thing is, yeah. it was, again, there was a lot of things like off camera where we're just like, obviously, we didn't speak to each other after that whole. But like, what happened off camera? But we had like a lot of. Like eye contact, you know, walking past each other, like bumping into each other on purpose, you yeah. know what I mean? So we had like fun with it. Oh, so there was like, it, it was like, it was like fun. Yeah, it was but not like, talking cheeky fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We we'll always throw like shady comments at each other, like, like in a the whole way. situation. Like, Kieran's that type thing. of guy, isn't he? So yeah. he's like quite bantery. So yeah, so it so was good. easy to so that like, made it easier for you. It was like, it was fun. No, they yeah. both did it towards each other, like, yeah, all the time, yeah. literally all the time. But they obviously didn't like catch it on camera. Yeah. And I feel like with, with with Kaz, like you two, everyone online has been saying this. You two from the beginning, it was just set in stone, really. Yeah. So I'm um, like you said it in the in our introduction, I think. So I fall in love very quickly. Like when I see you something, you did. Were I, you like yeah. crying on the first day? I was like, girl, no, get it together. Okay, let me explain something. I was like, girl, get it together. Yeah. Can I explain something? So obviously, when I saw him, when I like some, when I like someone, like mm. I will like, I in my head, I'm like, okay, you're mine, kind of thing. Like yeah. I want you, but. In reality, I didn't cry day one. Yeah. That's not what happened. I cried like, probably day four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was on episode one. <laughs> yeah, they put it in episode one. So I'm not that sensitive. Yeah. But, but she's like, sensitive, yeah, but not that yeah, sensitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I obviously liked him straight away, fell in love, and like, mm. I'm like, you're mine, I want you. Mm. Come to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. And then you did, you had him. I feel like you guys had a good run in there. It was like proper romance you know he even told you he loved you yeah no he, was he asked so you sweet. to be his girlfriend like how did you feel at that moment you must have felt like a queen yeah no honestly like for me that's like i think that was what i was looking for at that time as well like i haven't had that mm. in such a long time you so, said that as well yeah because like i've yeah. had really shit relationships in the past mm. so for him to do all that for me was like the most romantic thing anyone has yeah. done for me. And it's on TV as well, so it's like, wow. It's so cute, you know, so it's been a year. Now, have you been on any, any exciting dates? What's happened? Tell me, I mean, <laughs> has he proposed yet? <laughs> so we have never like, we, have, we haven't officially said we're breaking up. Okay, so when was the last time you were on a date with him? Uh, we haven't, so we have, obviously we have been like, so we've both been very busy when we came outside the yeah, 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 of course. We yeah, yeah. did try to make, you know, to work it out and stuff and like we met all the time in the beginning and then work came and then he got busy i got yeah. busy um but every time we meet we have like we had cheeky kisses and stuff <laughs> <laughs> okay but when you do meet is it like at a bar setting at like a restaurant like, uh, yeah like restaurants bar yeah, like yeah. literally like yeah well, like in each other's house or in my house or yeah. his house and oh so you like go to each other's houses yeah yeah, yeah we do yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Still, so, so you have been meeting up. <laughs> yeah, of course we have. And like I don't know, it's just all in the air a bit. Like yeah, yeah. So 
is it a situation ship? Because, okay, okay, I just want you to hear yeah. me out, hear me out. As, yeah. a viewer, as a viewer, yeah, whose heart was so compelled at this love story, yeah. where you're watching the man say he loves you, and you know, this is a, I'm rooting for you two as a couple. So, you know, I want to know where the progression has been. Yeah, well, I'm, as a view, I'm, I'm a viewer. I'm speaking to someone who's watched the show. I'm all. as confused as you. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Did you still kiss? Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Fine. So, like, what was like your favorite moment from the show? Was there like best part you had? For me, challenge? for me was uh, when he asked to be obviously, do you want to be my girlfriend? And the yacht date that we had. Yeah, yeah. insane, that was that was nice. amazing, insane. Nice little cheeky free date on a yeah, yacht. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> what about you? What was yours? Oh, there's so many. Uh, I feel like maybe when you bonded with Daniel. Yeah, but the, again, that was like a lot off camera. Mm. Yeah. So like more it eating. happened so naturally. Yeah. So wow. when we had like breakfast, lunch, dinner, like. Me and Daniel somehow were like drawn to sitting next to each other wow. or like close and, to each yeah, other. It was and that's kind of how we were like, we bonded. And then we had like the best conversations ever. But it was like a lot about like the outside world. And yeah. it was like, where, when we were eating, while we we're eating. So mm. we couldn't like put S that on camera. Sorry, can I just bring it back to the fact, guys, you know, you won the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you won the show. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you won the show. So, like, you know. That was a lot of money you yeah, won. Yeah. You know, have exactly. you been spending? Where have you been going? Like, did you not spend the money together? Or was it like, here's your 50K, here's your 50K, bye? No, <laughs> well, obviously it is like split up 50 50. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um. Have you been going to nice places? Is it bags? We is it nice well, dinners? We haven't, we haven't received it yet. Oh, well, it's been a year. Yeah, you we haven't. You better start contacting money wait, because. Wait, 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 it's coming this month. Bitch, I have my money. This month, it's coming this month. Side. Yeah, well, are you gonna treat yourself? You, you deserve to treat yourself. Yeah, so our plan, my and Cass's plan, is to literally like take the money that we get because we're getting it this month. Yeah. Travel and hide from Neil and Kieran. And no, we're gonna, we're gonna come. We're gonna come. Me and Kieran will come. Because they will be running yeah. after us. We're ready for our no, house. you don't need to go on like a group working. holiday and like redo the show again, but without the cameras. Yeah, literally, yeah. like. But I feel like that's how your relationships will like get stronger. Do it again, but without the cameras. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Yeah, and like. Would you guys ever do any other reality shows in the future? Like, have you been, you know, like hit up by any other producers? Are you know, are you in talks about anything else, or is it are you are you open to the idea? I'm open to the idea because I don't feel like I spoke on this show at all. You did? Just, oh. I did not. Maybe you spoke. We saw you. Just you just had a resting bitch face. <laughs> so I feel like I need to redo it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we redo. No, but you, if you not, go on another show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I need to redo. I mean, it. like we're open. Like for we're open to things, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it depends what it, like what it is at the time and mm. depending on the yeah, time and where, yeah, and where we are where we're at in our lives as well at the yeah. time when yeah. we're being asked for it. And are you two dating at the moment? Are you like talking to like other people, other guys, just like keeping your mind and options open? Like, what's the deal? No comments. <laughs> No comment. Uh, I mean, I feel like we always have. Yeah, we do. We've always got someone on there, or someone on there. There's always someone. There. There's always someone. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard being being a pre girl, I guess. Yeah. Like there's always someone there. I mean, we do have. What speak up? Yeah, I'm, you're saying yeah, oh, like okay, it's yeah. true. Like there's always someone. Yeah, we do speak a little bit here and there, you know. Mm. And have you ever had like, any blue ticks in the DMs recently? Like anyone interesting? We've always had that. We've always had that. Really? Yeah. An interesting... No, we're not spilling. Like, <laughs> that would be... You know why? That All would, right, one, no, one, one, one name, one name. Spill, if we spill that tea, they won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you want them to come back. You yeah. need to like, keep a yeah. clientele. Yeah. Yeah, like you don't, you don't want to ruin that relationship. Yeah. But we have, we have like, if, if you only knew. We can show you on the side. Wild Nights? Fun nights, yeah. Fun nights, definitely. Mm. We're not that wild, like, we don't do, like, crazy parties. But we always have like fun. We always have fun. Cool. We're very spontaneous. Yeah. And what do you want people to take away from seeing you on this show? Like, what do you want people to learn about you and to know about you after watching this show on Netflix, Date and Related? I think our relationship and that we are fun people. Because you know, <laughs> that true. was fun. <laughs> oh, I was. You both were. No, I mean yeah. like so because on our social media, like Instagram, is more like pictures. Mm. Well, it used to be more. And now we're doing yeah, videos and trying stuff. Trying to be more. So people can like see our personality that we're fun and cool and, and also, very like, friendly. Our relationship is very strong and very unique. I think like we, we even have like find my iPhone with each other. 
Yeah, yeah. If really? she doesn't answer within 15 minutes, you oh. track her down. Yeah, and find yeah. Out. Stop she it. Yeah, she yeah. does. She tracks stop. me down. So once where I figured out you? her phone was stolen because she didn't answer, and I looked at like the location of where the phone was going. Yeah, and the like, phone was phone moving crazy like this. Really? Like, yeah, and I was like, like she would never be in that area. Yeah, and like, she yeah, knew it was stolen. Me. Oh, my gosh, please. Yeah, <laughs> detective over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, girls, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much for having us. You know what? I just love how in sync Nina and Diana are. They are brilliant. They are fabulous. And are they the UK's Kardashians? I'll say so. But look, next week I've got even more dated and related gossip as Alara and Jalen are going to be in this studio spilling even more tea. I'll see you there.